Today we're learning how to make this beautiful overview slide to demonstrate your services in PowerPoint all the way from scratch, including the animations and colors that you can see on the slide. Let's start from a blank slide, right click, format background, and we're going to add a purple gradient background. For that, we're choosing the dark purple on the bottom and the lighter version, the very bright purple on top. Now we want to create one of the levels or the cards. And for that, we're choosing a rounded rectangle shape. We're dragging it across the screen, removing the outline, and let's start with making them white. Maybe white is a little bit too hard, so let's like right click format shape and add a gradient to it, but a lighter gradient. So we're going from the bottom, a purple, light version of purple, and at the top, we're going for white. This gives a little bit of a reflection from the background slide so it all nicely flows together. Now we want to add some text to this shape and let's call it the basic, basic version. We're going to center the text and for the fonts we're going to use Avenir Next this time and a ultra light version for the first one. Let's select both, arrange and align to center just to make sure that everything is centered nicely. Hold Ctrl and Shift while you drag the text box to create a copy. And here we're going to add the amount. So in this case, let's say $10 as an example. And we're choosing the font bold, making it purple and increasing the size by quite a lot. Now, in this case, it's better that we go for a little bit of a darker font. So let's do one thing darker. That way it blends in nicer with the background. That looks good. Now we want to add another text box with some extra information on there. So I'm just going to paste in some dummy text and we're reducing the font size by quite a lot until it fits in the rectangle. Maybe increase the size a little bit. That looks about right. Now we want to add a little icon in here. You can use either insert the standard icons, but for some variation, I want to use one of the 3D icons that I can find online. So I got these icons online from a nice database called Flat Icon. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. They got quite a lot of different icons that you could use in your project. In this case, we're going for a little bit of a 3D vector style, which looks quite nice, I would say. And this is the first tab. Now we want to create multiple ones. So let's group them together. Hold Ctrl and Shift while you drag them across the screen. And it doesn't have to be spaced perfectly. We're just going to select them all, going to the shape format, align, and then we're going to distribute horizontally. And if you then group them once more, everything together, you can align, align to center, and that way everything is perfectly in the middle. And then you can just ungroup two times, and then all the shapes are individual. Now we're going to place the icons. Let's move them to the front first. Right click, bring to front. And then let's move the icons down so they fit nicely on the page. And this one we want to center a bit more. Maybe icons are a little bit too big, so I'm going to hold Control Shift to reduce them all from the center of the image and then position them you'll see these nice guidelines helping you to position it in the middle. There we have it, that looks nice. A few more things we need to change. Let's change the level, so $10, $19, let's say $49 and 99. You can really modify this however you like. And that can remain the same at the bottom, but the levels, we're going to call this beginner, then we have advanced, and then maybe the last one is a business pack. Those are four levels that we want. Now it's okay to show it like this on the slide, but if you want to go an extra step further, you can always make some modifications to the shape. So right click format shape on the first one. And for that, we're choosing a little bit different shade of purple at the bottom. And at the top, we're going for the purple. Let's add an extra stop in between and then reduce the transparency a little bit. So at the top one, you can reduce it quite a lot let's say about 60 percent and then the second one maybe at let's say 15 percent so we have three different stops of course then we want to change the text color to white and this way the first formula the first option jumps out 
quite a lot. And we're going to duplicate the slide and we're going to change the second one or do this format for the second tab. For that, there is a shortcut, Control shift c to uh, select the formatting, that is this format object, and then Control shift v to paste the same formatting there. Change the font to white, and then we can do the same, Control shift c Control shift v to copy that formatting, and then change the font here as well. That was the darker one. And that way you do it for the different slides, so let's duplicate once more. Copy, paste the formatting, change the text to white, and here we change the text to the darker, and then we have to make this one white. And then as a last one, we want to make the 99 pop out. So copy the format and change the text colors. And this way we have four different slides with a separate level highlighted each time. Now we can also add a title. So let's add a title and we call this our, let's say services. It might use the same font of near next, center in the middle. And let's go for bold, increase the font size to about 48, align, align the center to make it position it exactly in the middle. Hold control and shift while you drag and create a copy. And for that, we're going to use ultralight italic and let's say made made for you reduce the font size give it a little bit more spacing and then position it until you are happy let's also maybe add a little bit of text at the bottom so for that we're going to add a text box with some dummy text this can be anything that you want from your company of course these text boxes we want to keep them on the different slides so let's copy them on the different slides and then the only thing we have to do is we have to add some transitions to the last three slides so let's add a transition and in this case we're going for a fade transition but we're going to increase the duration to about two seconds and now let's play and see what it looks like and now you know how to make this beautiful services slide with animated pop-ups and different levels that you can highlight in your PowerPoint presentation. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.